Okay. So, for one, I do want to say, yes, I am wearing the same shirt from my, like, previous video. Um, it is the same day. I just wanted to record another video <laughs> today, and I didn't want to change. So, who cares? Anyways, but, um... This video is a story time, another story time, but this one is, I feel like it's more funny, but um, yeah, this is a story time on when I thought someone was trying to break into my house when I was younger. So, uh, I don't even know um, how old I was, but I was like in... I'm assuming probably high school because, you know, I was like home with my sister alone. So, I want to say high school. Well, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say like older middle school, like eighth grade or high school, or like lower high school, like ninth grade. I don't know. Anyways, um,. So, this is what happened. I don't remember if it was like summer or we were just out of school or whatever the case was. But me and my sister were home from school. We weren't at school. Um, we were doing fine the whole day. And then, um, like my mom was at work or whatever. Oh, gosh, I felt like I got a burp. Sorry. <laughs> but, um... Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so my mom was home, or my mom was home. My mom was at work and we were home. And, um, I think, matter of fact, if I remember it correctly, it was like my mom's birthday. Um, cause I was trying to make her brownies or a cake or something in the kitchen is when it was like, when it happened. So, I'm gonna replay this back in my mind to tell you guys like exactly what was going on. So, if I remember it correctly, I was in the kitchen, I was making brownies, like I said, brownies or a cake or something for my mom, and my sister was either in the living room or in the room, like her room, um, and all of a sudden I heard, like, oh, for one, um, I can't even talk, my mom used to, like, have, like, keep this, like, like, stick thing to the door, it's, like, so people can't like push your door in. It's like supposed to protect it from like being pushed in. If that, if you guys can picture what I'm trying to say. But um, we always kept that against the door and we also had an alarm system. So, um, yes, yeah, so yeah, now nah, fast forward back. So yeah, all of a sudden like someone, I feel like I hear someone trying to open the door and I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, Thinking it's my mom, I'm like, it's not time for her to come home yet. Like, soon, but not yet. Um, so I'm thinking it's her. So, like, I, they're still, like, running. Not running, but they're still, like, trying to twist the door. And all of a sudden, they get the key. And, or they had a, they, like, open the door. So, the, um, alarm is going, like, the thing is still to the door. So... They didn't open the door, but you know, like, when you open the door, though, enough that the alarm can go off because it knows the door is open, but it's not fully open. You guys see what I'm trying to say? So the door opened up, but it wasn't, like, you know, open so they could come in because of the stick. But the alarm starts going off, like, going off, going off because, you know, the alarm was on because we were in the house. And I'm, like, freaking the fuck out. For, ooh, excuse me. I'm trying not to cuss on here. But I was freaking out because I'm, like... Oh my god, someone tried to break in the house. What is going on? Like, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. So, I, like, ran to the door, though, and, um, looked out the peephole so I could get a look of the person. You know, I'm thinking smart. So, I'm, like, trying to look at the person, and it was, like, some, like, an older, not older, but he was, like, middle-aged Spanish guy. And I was, like, okay, like, whatever I see what he looked like. And I, like, pushed the door back and, like, locked it back or whatever. And, um, at this time, the alarm is still going off. So, um, I call my mom, like, panicking. And she's on her way home now from work. And, um, 
then um what i'm even trying to say she's on her way home wait was she even on her way home yet no she wasn't on her way home yet no i like she wasn't on her way home yet but i'm calling her panicking like oh my god someone's breaking in the house i don't know what to do the alarm's going off and she's like okay well hang up call the police call me back i'm like okay so i like looked back out looked back outside to see if he was still there but he was gone but i guess because you know like the alarm scared him away or whatever and um so i call the police and i tell them what happened tell them the address and everything and the lady's like okay well stay on the phone with me or did she say stay on the phone with me um no i don't wait i don't think i stayed on the phone with her so i think i went to call my mom back i think yeah i think i got off the phone and i called my mom back no matter of fact oh yeah because back then we had house phones <laughs> i don't think everyone has house phones now that's what happened so i'm on the phone with the police and i told my little sister who was also you know obviously freaking out at that time um to call my mom on the house phone to let her know what was going on so that's what she did and um my mom was like okay i'm leaving work now um, like she was even obviously leaving work early because bump work when there's an emergency but yeah so she's like okay i'm leaving work now i'm on my way but she worked far so that was like the only thing like she worked like 45 to like 45 minutes to an hour i guess maybe not 40, or an hour but like 45 ish minutes away so she's like, um, you know, just be on the phone with the police, let them know everything, keep me updated, blah, 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 blah. So, um, she gets, I think, no, the police come, yeah, they got there first. The police come, they like knocked on the door and I'm like freaking out because I like heard knocking on the door, but I'm like in the room in my mom's closet, me and my sister, because we're like still scared. So they're knocking on the door, but I'm not answering it. And I'm like telling the police, I'm like, there's someone knocking on the door. And she's like, that should be the police. It should be okay. You should go to the, you can go to the door. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Like freaking out. And then I go to the door and I look out the thing and I see it's the police. So I open the door for them. And they just ask me like, you know, what happened, blah, blah, blah. They like check the door. They check um, like the perimeter to see if there was like people or a person or whatever. And then um, they like, you know, make sure everything was okay before they left. And then they left. And then my mom got home and like I was telling her what happened. And she's just like freaking out. And, but she's like happy that we're okay and all that stuff. And then um, I think what happened then? Oh, rewind. While the police were there, this is what happened. The person came back. So while the police were there, the person came back, but so it turned out it was the maintenance person. <laughs> like it turned out it was the maintenance person and they were supposed to be doing like a uh, inspection of the apartments. So obviously the maintenance people have keys. They like are supposed to knock on your door first or whatever. And then they're, um, they, they had keys so they can come in so that's why they were able to open up the door but when the alarm went off and obviously the door wasn't opening because of the stick he was like okay like snap what what to do now so he left and he went back to the office and i guess told them what happened so i guess they seen like when the police had got there so he came over to say like let them know what like what happened or whatever so the police were like, you know, okay, blah, 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 blah. And then when my mom got there, I had told her, like, it was a freaking maintenance person. But then she was, like, more mad because she's like, okay, so why are they just coming in my apartment, like, if I'm not home? Because they didn't write no letter or anything saying that they're going to do an inspection. Because if you know, like, if you live in an apartment place, that um, they usually write, like, send, like, send out a letter saying that they're doing inspections and they're going to be in people's apartments or whatever. So they didn't do that so she's like mad about that and they're trying to say like oh well you shouldn't have an alarm system because then we can't get in blah blah, blah. or either you have to tell us your code and we're like no we don't have to tell you our code because security like you can just come when we're there or whatever but anyways um yeah so like it was kind of funny it was it wasn't funny at the beginning because like i really thought someone was breaking in it was like really scary because i didn't know what to do and i was there with my little sister and everything too but um it was just funny like it wasn't even funny really then but it's more so funny now that i'm like freaking out and it was like the maintenance person 
But um, yeah, I do feel though they should have let out like let out a letter saying that they're gonna be there, like doing inspections and stuff. And I would have knew, and he should have probably you know knocked or like said, hey, maintenance or <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? Like before just coming. In. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that was my little crazy story time uh, to tell you guys. But yeah, I hope you like that video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and that's about it guys so i love you guys Mwah.